Several prominent Canadian athletes have announced in recent years that they're donating their brains to science after they die in an effort to further research into brain injuries and disorders. As Catalina Gillies tells us, another former athlete made that pledge today. He also happens to be a current Ontario cabinet minister. Traumatic brain injuries are often an unfortunate danger in high contact sports. Former CFL player and Ontario sports minister Neil Lumsden is doing his part to advance brain health and safety in sports. I'm announcing that I will be don donating my brain, just not today. Um, to concussion research. After playing in the CFL for 10 years and experiencing multiple concussions, Ontario Sports Minister Neil Lumsden knows all too well how dangerous head injuries can be. However, unlike his teammates, Lumsden says he hasn't suffered any long-term adverse effects. It's the repeated contact, game after game, year after year, and then what that does, the accumulative factor. And for me it was, well, how come I seem to be fine? And everyone tells me, certainly from a a work perspective and family, but friends of mine that may be a little bit older, a little bit younger that were teammates haven't been so lucky. So got to find out why that is. And that's up to the research. And Researchers say CTE is a brain disorder likely caused by repeated head injuries, often occurring in contact sports. The only way to definitively diagnose CTE is after death during an autopsy of the brain. Lumsden says he hopes his donation will inspire others to contribute towards concussion prevention and research. All players, coaches, trainers, spectators, educators must be empowered to recognize the signs and symptoms of a concussion. This knowledge can and does save lives. The Ontario Ministry of Sport is also providing over $52,000 to the Concussion Legacy Foundation of Canada, who is partnering with the Centre for Addiction and Mental Health on a 12-month research project on traumatic brain injuries. For the first time in Ontario, this province-wide project that is enabled by the people standing behind me will establish the patterns of and risk factors for sports-related traumatic brain injury and examine its impact on mental health. If we want to try to get to the point where people are safer, not only in sport but in general, because people have concussions riding their bike down the street if they're not wearing a helmet. I mean, you know, if you can't, we got we got to figure this out some way, shape, or form. And by doing that, you have to participate. And this is my way to try to help one day. And Minister Lumsden joins a group of distinguished Canadian athletes who have also pledged to donate their brains to research. That includes Canadian hockey legends Haley Wickenizer, Cassie Campbell, Pascal and Jonathan Huberto and rugby player Jen Kish. In Toronto, Catalina Gillies, City News.